So this is a very different video than what I normally do. I've just been practicing some shots, so basically I'm just going through my practice routine. So obviously I've got my Eureka Canes down. Check out the website for that. I'm not going to get into that just now. But when I practice, it's all about feels versus reels. And I know exactly what I'm working on. My shoes are dirty. I'm nothing worse than looking down on dirty shoes. Perfectionist, you know. So basically, this this video is is just I've just I was hitting balls, created some content, just left the camera on. Um, shoulder alignment, feet alignment, path. You probably know that. So I'm getting little draws on these, which is great. That's 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 my idea. My idea. Is not to, not necessarily to get a draw, it's to, to not lose it to the right with every golf club. Um, get a little bit sick of that. Eureka Golf Swings obviously improved that big time for, for thousands of golfers. But when I'm practicing like so, I'm really focusing on my path of the golf club. So the path of the golf club for me is vital to go in to out and trace that top cane. Um, <laughs> I'm aware that I come over the top. But I don't come over the top, I come over the top of my takeaway. So my backswing is, I mean, imagine if I take the club in here, I'm going to come over the top. I still swing into out in relation to zero for track man. So down the target line, zero, but I, I come over the top of my backswing. Hogan did the same, so let's not worry about that. Um, but I like to feel lots of feels like so, you know, lots of feels before I step on execute. Like so, talking and hitting balls at the same time is a, a talent. <laughs> so I like to feel, so I, I know what I'm doing here. You don't need to know what I'm doing here, but I know what I'm doing here. And I'm trying to feel my way into impact. I always feel my way into impact because I want this feeling to be rehearsed. And when I rehearse the feeling and I go and execute the shot, I want it to feel exactly the same as the rehearsal. So the rehearsal has to be spot on before every shot I hit. If you watch my vlogs, I always I step there and I get my thumb there, there, okay, and then I step on and I repeat that action. So I'm really trying to, it's a full on dress rehearsal of what's going to happen when I play the shot. Now I will tell you what I'm working on here actually. So I'm swinging into out, trying to swing into out, over plane of the takeaway plane, but that's fine. As I say, Hogan was there. My thoughts today, really working on path, okay? But I'm really trying to keep my trail knee from going out towards the golf ball. I don't want to get too much of this. I see people who do this in early extend as well. I don't really want to get too much into that. If I, if you watch, I've been watching McElroy. Why wouldn't you? McElroy gets in there and coming into impact, his heel moves closer to the target than his toe. So even if his foot was fixed perfectly level and he came in, he would get to here and his heel's moving closer to target than his toe. So what happens there, if my feet were square, for example, so if you don't use Eureka Golf Swing, if my feet were square, the heel would go closer to target, but the knee would not go outside the toe line, it would not cross the toe line. So it would not go over the toe line, it would be here and stay inside the toe line. And that's what I'm working on. Now it's hard for you to see in the camera because this is my practice session and the reason it's hard for you to see is because my feet are open. So it's always going to look as though my, my trail knee is over that line but I'm aware of what I'm trying to feel. So then, then so that's, my, that's my thing today. So there, to there, to there. So I'm rocking on this side, not going up, not rotating round. I'm trying to rock from there on to instep ball portion of trail foot. Is that even a thing in coaching? There's nothing right in coaching now, it's just an absolute shambles. Everyone does anything they can to get the ball as far as they can and as close to the hole or in the hole as possible. I have no problem with that. I like that, the fact that the rule book can pretty much get written, ripped up. Fundamentals to adhere to, of course. Yeah. Yeah, again, these are all draws, these are good. 
So my draw, I've no trap man, my trap man's next door. I'm using ball flight as the barometer, so the ball curved right to left there. So I draw flight, so the face was definitely close to the path. Now I'm not sure how into it my path was, but I'm getting the shape I'm after. So I'm not bothered about the numbers. God, when I coach so many people, I've got in the range bay, if you've been for a lesson with me, there's a link in the description below, you can come for a lesson with me here at Peebles. Television on the wall, track man. And uh, people obsessed with the numbers, obsessed with the numbers. And I get that. Absolutely want to know how far and path and face the path and strike location and spin loft. But not on every shot. You know, th there's your numbers, cool. Let's hit 30 balls and then look back up and take an average. And then we can start looking at it, but not on every shot. I heard of a lady on the LPGA Tour, who I won't name, got rid of her trap man because she was getting too obsessed with numbers. I can understand that. Oh, that feels good. Okay, so overdrawing. So these are started, that one there started on target, curved left. Okay, so it's not an overdraw, it's just not started too uh, far enough to the right. So the idea of the, the heel getting away from the toe, so trail heel getting closer to target than toe through impact, is to get the body moving more towards target. It's to prevent any early extension. That's it. So ball, that was good. Higher flight on that. So now I assess, how did that feel? I felt as though, I've talked about this before, it feels like I'm holding in a poo. <laughs> there. But it felt as though my left hip, this, on that line there, for example, stayed on that line for the whole action and didn't move towards target. I mean, I say early extension, but it's I'm talking inches here. Yeah, left leg straightens. And they get deep into that left side, that lead side. Nearly. Quite sore that. Just a different action altogether. So therefore it's doing something different. Obviously. Yeah, good. It's good that when you get the body, you start to get the body to work the golf swing. So it's much less hands and arms. I'm currently writing a book, okay? Probably going to take a year or so. But really a lot of findings in it and lots of research are highlighting more and more and more that it's the body that swings the golf club. The body swings the club. Not the hands and arms, it's the body. So focusing on where the body is or how the body controls the club, massive because as I've banged on about a million times the golf swing's pivot driven pivot is a rotation or turning of the body hands and arms, they're, they're, the hands are clamps they just hold on to the golf club it's the body that turns it there there I'm doing that, my left leg straightens earlier. My left leg looks flexed all the time through impact. And I get that. And people do comment on that. But it's because the stance is open. It's not an optical illusion, it's just because the stance is open. There you are. There you are. Nearly. Lack of compression. So I've never really done a practice session with the camera on before. So I now know you guys in this camera angle are really watching what I'm doing. And I've changed my approach to it. I'm just absolutely burst. So I'm just hitting seven iron here. I've got a lesson coming at 11 o'clock. 
came up early while the sun was out to hit some balls and create some content beforehand. There. I love that. If I can get there, it's much better than this. There, I feel as though I'm, you know, Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> Maybe one more, I'm turning that camera off. Going to get some more balls and continue with the session. I even feel that. I like that. So that was, I don't know why I even turned the camera on there. Um, let me know if that's given you value as to how to practice or is it good to see somebody actually practicing their golf swing? Just a different video. Just different content. I can I can add things like this in if you like. Um, don't know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>